Welcome back to Nino Kuni 2. And uh, okay, Dwibs, I know you're very anxious to see Bodley again. <laughs> However, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe you know, we should get it as a sitcom, which is called The Apocalypse Can Wait and Start with one of those cheesy 50s uh, theme songs. Yes. The funny, Apocalypse I'll, I'll, the... I'll, 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 I'll oh. the theme for it. Oh, here we go, uh, Teo. Uh, uh, I forgot who was, who was very curious about the royal sorceress of Mausinger. Well, we're finally going to get a side quest about her. Look, Actually, no. There, we're, wait, we're, well, there was a royal on. sorceress? I'll, I'll tell, well, that's the thing. There was a necromancer that you faced, but basically Roland and Aranella basically just straight up murdered her anyway, so... Oh, that was one. Well, and huh. and, not, and since I played the game, I know it was a generic type of enemy. So there sure, you go. sure, it's Marlene, the sorceress from blah blah blah. There you go. She's become a bandit, basically. She's become a. Oh, sorry. She's chosen a like a petty crime of all things. Well, what exactly did she do as sorceress? Ba basically, ba ba basically. Well, basically, no, 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 no. Basically, Jova. Uh, that's the point. Is uh, in true fantasy fiction fa uh, faction, she was the royal sorceress. Because usually you see royal sorcerers in in these types of, of, of settings. However, um, what happened was uh, sometime in between the beginning and chapter eight, she defected the kingdom. So oh, I, don't I guess suppose the only issue is like, well, we literally never heard about her. Like. No, it's similar, similar to the general from the previous part, Joe. Well, but. well, we're hearing it now, though. That's the whole point. Well, I'm not sure about that, but I'll certainly give it a try. The basic point is, uh, she left and became a bandit, and all of her companions who used to be in the military with her are really sad and disappointed because they really Jova. miss her, basically. Jova. Yes. Does this sound familiar? Oh yes, it does, Dio. Yes, something, does. something, big, something, something, Farja. Uh huh. <laughs> although to be fair, it's also, it's also I don't. Fire emblem. Although, yeah. although to be fair to you, or it's, or it's Farja, this... I forgot which of the two actually so, has this. Uh... So to you, in this case, who's the sorceress pining after? Oh my, Marlene. Uh, I don't know. Because if there's one thing Farja is, it's thirsty. And a yandere. <laughs> I, 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 I love the name of the side quest. Marlene, good girl gone bad. Of course. She really it's is like, Farja. It's like, it's like also Dark Phoenix. <laughs> now let's see if she dresses like Farja. Alright, let's see. This is enough to cause a controversy across several different countries and even in Smash Brothers. I, I don't think he no cares. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, well, to be fair, sure, that's more so Yoshi Kaito. You know, because I, 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 I'm, so, I'm starting to think. That's the thing, Jova. I'm genuinely starting to think that Hino doesn't even look at the scripts of Yokai Watch anymore. He just allows the writers to do whatever the fuck they want. Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. There was a brothel that clearly talked about what they were gonna do in Leighton and the Diabolical Box. To be fair, Jova, game's supposed to be about gentlemen and gentle ladies and shit. <laughs> Gentlewoman, actually, the term is. He knows it's not above that stuff at all. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying he. I'm not saying he isn't. I'm just saying. Uh, it's okay. It's which okay. actually, well, actually, what that remind wasn't that an hallucination oh, anyway, which technically means that Leighton and Luke kind of imagined that. Uh, mm. Mm. It's hard to tell which is really makes you think. There and which well, ones were... something oh I've my read God. throughout the internet about the industry is that animators generally are perverts. Wait, Theo, I just realized something. Everyone in that place is apparently really old, I think, or whatnot. So that means that the woman working at that brothel is, oh my God, how old? Jesus. Anyway. Okay, anyway. yeah, he knows so, definitely not above that. So you, you need to settle this with the skirmish? Yes, basically she's joined a group, a, 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 an army of bandits, so we have to defeat the bandits so we can properly um, get Marlene to listen to us, because she she won't listen to us uh, without... She's turned to a lot of violence, uh, gr uh, groom, gross style. Won't listen hmm. without violence? She definitely is, Farja. Although, she, although, unlike gross, she's not amnesiac. So there's that. <laughs> And I guess she doesn't have a silly uh, musical theme. No. All right. Stop trying to do hard modes. You can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, Rodwebs. Uh, once you start, uh, oh, there she is. Once you start uh, getting uh, 
uh, a lot of uh, you know uh, well, what's well, the well, official term? King King Hold oh, 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 on, hold on, hold on. Let's tail finish. Once you start obtaining a lot of uh, kingdom cur your currency for your kingdom, uh, powering up your troops uh, for skirmishes becomes basically the mandatory thing, uh, regardless, because you have so much money you can waste on that that you said, why not doing it? Yeah, pretty much. Unless you're trying to do one of those Nuzlocke type of challenges. Well, for that, you can try the hard mode, I guess. You'd be surprised, you. Some also, people some like to do troops, some uh, of those debuff yeah. runs. There are, mm -hmm. there are some some of the hardest skirmishes in the game are the ones in the ice continent. Uh, they're, they're they're optional. They're not uh, part of uh, of uh, any side quests or even main. Uh, uh, but uh, they're but they involve about uh, they, they have a combination of various things like protecting bases, protecting uh, certain uh, es escorts, like uh, basically uh, taking basically taking everything you've done up until this point and basically it's turning it's turning things up a notch in a difficulty meter. Um, mm -hmm. all right, so, charge, there you go, and, all right, pink where the cannon still, I can see them on the mini-map, wow, oh, there you go, wow, it's kind of outside the kingdom, right there, <laughs> <laughs> nothing to see here, ding-dong-dell, nope, now the skirmishes always take place in the in the world map. <laughs> About to imagine nobody can hear the war going on. Actually, I actually really like oh. it. It gives the world map uh, a lot of a, a lot of a, a higher purpose than just being the connecting thing between places. Go ahead, Terry. Oh, yeah, so, one thing that's also very helpful for these skirmishes is that uh, each unit, depending on the race. To, that it's composed by has a different cry when one of its members gets defeated so during specific battles it may help you notice uh, if uh, some of your troop troops are not uh, you know are getting you know uh, destroyed uh, by the enemy like the robots have a different cry the dog folks have a different cry and so on there makes sense and there, there you go, go. Here's just hoping we didn't accidentally kill her. Oh wait, there she is, okay. My my boys, what happened? Tidy. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> well now. There now we that we've killed everyone else, let's talk. <laughs> He's not right. numbered, so you have to talk to us. I have come to bargain. Alright, go ahead, Jova. Ugh No. How could this happen? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Miss Marlene. You can't give up now. Durr. So yeah, one of them is a swordsman, the other one is a shaman. Yeah. I don't understand it, Marlene. You are the palace sorcerer. Uh, Why would what? you give that up to become yeah, a yeah, bandit? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 hold on. So the staff had not only a right-hand man who was a mouse, but also a sorceress who was a mouse? Jeez. I mean... Did no one ever I am I am... Oh, 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 Jova, are you implying that just because she's a mouse, she can't be a sorceress? I fought in Inokuni, anybody could be anything. Uh, oh, no, 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 that's not the issue. <laughs> My thing is like, well, I mean, how did nobody notice that the king was actually rather welcoming of mice into the kingdom staff? Like, he had not one, but two. Well, that's well, that's kind of the whole point. Yeah, the, the father was generally trying to eliminate the, the hatred, yeah, but anyway. Minutes, yeah. Uh, I just want to run away and forget on. it all. Ten seconds. So I came out here and started a new life as a bandit. Oh, okay. So but the okay. So hold on. Uh, let me cue the websites in. Three, two, one, click. The basic gist of it is that uh, she actually was one of the few ones that did not agree with the whole let's uh, prejudice, uh, let's contain all the Grimalkin thing. So she left Ding Dong Dell. There you go. Was she there in, in the first chapter, or is this the first time we're meeting her? This is the first time we're meeting her. Ah, okay. Not somebody said that we had seen her in a previous chapter. No, it's because uh, I specifically told you back then when you thought she was the sorcerer, you know, and back in part one, I think. <laughs> anyway, Miss Marlene, really? Mm -hmm. No. Listen, Marlene, I know you care about your new friends, but this life. Is, this the is life it you... really what you want? Fighting all the time? Keeping people at a distance? 
Yeah. Whoever said, said they were my friends? Of your business. Whoever said they were my friends? It doesn't have she to did, be actually. like this. You could all come and live in my new kingdom. It could do with your help. Be smarter than the tyrant. It's surely better than spending your days wondering about where your next meal is going to come from. Oh, a new, an onyx meal? How bad is it, do you think? Hold up, Miss Marlene. I hear this Evermore place ain't bad, you know. Even the Cloud Snake crew is lot in with them. Cloud Snake is uh, Bato's nickname, in case you forgot. Mm -hmm. Uh, Glibs. <laughs> You know, I always kind of wanted to try living someplace else. Maybe someplace a little less, uh, rocky. <laughs> mm. Come on, let go of your pride. I'm thinking about it. I suppose I was a bit hasty just running off to the mountains and a sulk like that. To be fair, your kingdom was kind of under bad management at the time. Yeah. If my merry men are king to go, then fine. They'll come and live in your kingdom. If you're sure, that is. What are you, Robin Hood? Of course I am. The more the uh, merrier. Well, considering you're a mouse who is apparently very adamant about tolerance, you'll love living in our kingdom. Our kingdom stands for that. Okay. Hmm. By the way, is anyone the gonna I, 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 dragon I, I, right over there? I, 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 I love the name of her uh, unit, the Wicked Witches. <laughs> of course. Uh, uh, Evan, there's a dragon over there, man. Don't, 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 don't worry. Whales, it's fine. Don't, don't worry. Don't, don't, the, the, don't. Le the level, the level color indicates that he's in fear to us. So, so we're fine. <laughs> oh, I guess they're taming whales, Jeroy. I mean... Well, actually, actually, I did read uh, on the official, you know, Fantastic Beast Ember to find a book, uh, you know, the one made before the movies, yeah. that apparently on the section of the dragon, it says that there go, was a Welsh... Ahead, oh, I'll see you later. Oh, speaking of Wales, well done on your Six Nations victory. Once upon <laughs> a time, we mice, don't you mean us mice, were not allowed to become tailors in our own right. The best I could hope for was a job spinning yarn in some dingy factory. Yeah, uh, thank you for the drive-by story, sir. But now everything has changed. Now I'm able to design and create whatever clothes I like. And it's all thanks to you, King Evan. Wait, to me? Really? Oh, yes, Evan, uh, you did good. Yes, of course. You see, when Mausinger first came to power, mice were not allowed to make clothes for cats. There were so many rules about everything. Oh, so it's it's like in facade. Uh -huh. But now we're free to make clothes for all the free races. Still, a real dream is to go somewhere where it could be possible to outfit all the races in the world. Oh, mm, I can't imagine a place where you could do that. Well, you could definitely come and live in my kingdom. We've got people Shame there from longer. absolutely everywhere. <laughs> well, to be fair, he was asking for this one. Gosh, that sounds like an enticing prospect. It's, it's just, well... Do you have yeah, a missus Evan, to take care of? Evan, at this point, you might as well make a TV advert saying... Go ahead, right, Jerry. The ball, sorry. Jerry? Mm -hmm. Is there some kind of problem? It sounds to me like this is a chance to make your dreams come true. Like Walt Disney did. And what a money-making uh, dream that I, was. I have, a, I have a bizarre grudge against pink hair, so, uh, no. <laughs> well, it's typically a hot shade between purple and pink. It's a little embarrassing to, to admit this, uh, having just told you about all my big dreams, but the fact is that I'm a bit of a slump at the moment. I haven't come up with stuff. They, they, they isn't designed in, in, a, in a while. Yeah. Boy, do I ever know how you feel. When the ideas aren't coming, they're just not coming. You got that Mind right. Slop, design the slop, slop, and they don't stop <laughs> well, this yeah. is the opposite here, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I really would love to come and join your majesty, but at the moment I fear I will be of little use. We can make a workshop class of this. Hey. <clears throat> oh, hey. Have you tried looking around for inspiration? Take an art class. Like you can check out some other cool clothes, see if they'll give you any ideas. She's not lying. Sometimes the best way to get inspiration is by seeing something that entertains you. 
Yeah, like but... fashion shows. That shit is ridiculous. Oh, remember, it's kind of like, it's kind of it's kind of like how we were helping out uh, newbie and Fido by showing them advanced pieces of equipment that allow them to really look at them and see how they were crafted, so they could you know learn the craft and even inspire themselves to create up even original takes on on them. Go ahead. Gosh, that was a thought. Perhaps it's just what I need to get myself out of this rut. If I could spend a few minutes examining something flowing and elegant, I'll be back to my best in no time. Flowing and elegant, huh? How about a set of cascading robes? We can probably find one of those, right, Evan? Let's go look around. I thought, I thought she said, uh, sorry, my eyesight must be fading. I thought she said fucking elegant. So yeah, huh? so yeah, using her feminine <laughs> so yeah, using her feminine instance for clothing, Bracken will uh, be able to tell us what the, the right clothes that we can uh, inspire Ritter with. Could, could you guys imagine what it'd be like if uh, I was the one translating this game? Yes, no, we can. I don't know. That's why you're not doing it. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 sure. This is what happened. Uh, Dwebs decided to apply for uh, for a job at the level 5 localization department. But Hino said, wait, you're that guy who came up with that thick Clayton thing, aren't you? Yeah, it was just for lols. But I, I promise I'll uh, I'll dick up your other character. I mean, uh... You should apply for compile art instead. <laughs> oh, oh to, no, to be fair, it's more like Idea Factory in this case. So, so do I, so, so can I, so Idea, do I get, Idea Factory International, too. Mm -hmm. so, so, do I get the job? No. I don't know. No. Anyway. Not to, mention well, you're not, not to mention you're not Welsh enough. So. <laughs> oh, for fuck you, too, then. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, basically, um, he needs. It's not enough. Huh? It's not enough. That's the basic gist of it. Makes sense. Yeah. So something, I'm sure you could get it, but I something can't. bursting with raw energy. I need a flux capacitor. <laughs> Shiri? I know, I know uh, just the thing. A chieftain's cloak. Ch chieftain's cloak. Yeah. Come on, Evan. Let's go find one. Uh, no, Bracken, like, we're gonna have a talk about that seductive laugh you gave when you were yeah, thinking about gonna, it. I, I don't know what to know about your role playing sessions with Zip. I was just going to say, that laughter was a bit weird. Again, it's part of her role-playing sessions with Zip when they need to get into the mood. <laughs> or is it a part of your mind's in the gutter? Like, further no, in the gutter? Either, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Raw energy, but seductive laugh, come on. The, <laughs> the, 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 oh, okay, um, the only one I have is being worn by Tani. But, well, you uh, just uh, need to uh, show uh, it. It, 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 actually, it. Actually, it doesn't get consumed by your inventory. It's just uh, getting to. Sh you can show yeah. uh, any equipment you have. Yeah. Here's a Titan's oh. coffee, Ritter. I hope this gives you the inspiration you need. Oh, oh yes. This is exactly what I wanted. It really, it's bursting with energy. Now I just. I just uh, remember. You need to rem something, don't you? Re remember, Shiroi. Um... Oh, I'm so close. Just need a little something. Also, uh, yes. also, kid, what what are you looking at? Come on, please. are rude. He's a, yes, yes, a very noisy kid. You see, Shiroi, um, Jove is very, very adamant about his uh, Bracken Zip ship. So. Well, yeah. I mean, come on, come hey, on. Hey, 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 it's hey, pretty hey. Much... To, to each, to each his own. Uh, jo Jova ships these two in this game. I ship other two in another game. Exactly. Simple as that. Yeah. I'll tell you off commentary, Jova, because we're not there yet. <laughs> it sure sounds like we're getting something close. bewitching. Bewitched. Something with a bit of acidlean glamour, like a dream or a nightmare. You know, I, I don't know wonder who. I, yeah. <laughs> okay, then it sounds like what you need is some wolf's bane. Wolf's bane. It's a it's a piece of it's a piece of, uh, of armor made from uh, wolf skin, from what I can tell. And wolf's bane is a plant, Pedro. I yeah, know. wolf's bane is a plant. <laughs> it, it, oh, it's okay. like the grass. It's, it's like the grass crest shielding. Well, well, I don't know what to tell you then. <laughs> Maybe it's just a pun. Reckon now this is getting a bit spooky. I never knew there were so many kinds of clothes in the world. How exciting! Just wait for the hats, Evan. They will be a big thing. All right, do no. I? All right, do I have it? Ritter's got Taylor's block. All right, let's see. Yeah, that's mm, a, nope, you don't I, have it. I don't have it. That's a fine. I'll just go to my kingdom and make some. Okay, then we'll just go back home and raid Bracken's wardrobe. All right, let's see. <laughs> let's see if the Cotter Master has it. 
Ooh, I ooh, don't Evan, think Evan, you'll be doing. You can't be that lazy just ooh, having Evan, it Evan, right Evan, around now. Can I be the one who did her wardrobe? No, and no, like, Lofty, you cannot. I'm, I'm, yeah, this this game is better than having the the item, the quest item that you need to ride next to, oh, to the quest giver. Oh, you could have missed oh. panty then. I don't know, Tio. If you just look to your left, it's right there. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time, Tio. Well, I don't. Not for this game, honestly. Also, tell, telling you for personal experience, Jova. Wasn't the, there that the, one time where we could literally just buy the guy something he needed only because he was <laughs> not. And besides, I'm not saying that it's inherently a bad thing. Sometimes it can work for a bit of narrative irony and humor in a side quest. True, of lazy but the honest, honestly, I don't think this game has done it. Uh, no, no, the game doesn't. Oh, th wait, this oh, this oh, particular oh, one oh, doesn't do it. Not that I remember, at least. Wait, wait, a, wait a second, Evan. You'll stop me from raiding someone's uh, wardrobe, but oh, you're perfectly you. happy letting the apocalypse happen. Don't yes. blame me, I'm being possessed by a Portuguese player! The end, the end of the world excuses. is fine, just don't be a pervert. But it's for what? a good cause! And okay. that's how the usual, the, the, the usual episode of the Apocalypse can, wait, can end with a steal the image and start the credits. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we'll get... We'll it, needs to, you know, it, it needs to be set in the late 90s, just before the whole Y2K Let me just shit. double check. Uh, <laughs> Alright, we'll get back to... Okay, for the sake of Dwibs' impatience, we'll get back to the main story two parts from now, on part 7. You don't have the stuff you need for that side quest, do you? Two parts?! Actually, no, remember, but he, he just forged oh, one. Oh, uh, uh, Evan, uh, should we go it... back there? Someone's dying back there. <laughs> basically, <laughs> Jova, basically, Jova, Pedro took the occasion, since he's a more powerful armor, to give it to one of the party members. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 hold on. Could you just, like, take it off them and then just show it to the guy and then nope. put it back on them? You, you don't have to oh. take it off. You, you, don't, you don't have to take it off. You can just show it even if it's equipped on yeah. someone. And like I said, it doesn't consume an item from your inventory, we're, so it's even generous in that. We're, we're just, well, we're just, well, technically it makes sense in terms of narrative, we're just showing these things to them, we're not giving it to mm -hmm. them, so... True. <laughs> and certainly, yeah, yeah, and getting better. I think we did it, Evan. I think Ritter is back to business. <laughs> the soundtrack <laughs> suggests yeah. just that much. Alright then. That's right, I can hear it with my cat ears. Well, part human, part cat is, so they're special that way. Yeah, is Evan's um, hearing a little weaker then? Are uh, you sure? Flowing elegance, incredible energy, bewitching glamour, yes. I know exactly what I'm going to be de de designing next. Yes. I'm not sure. <laughs> Thank you, King Evan. Thank you, Racket. My tailor's block is a thing of the past. Yay! All right, so we got now, ourselves a new tailor. A thing again. Assuming Ask you still want me, I'd be happy to come and join your kingdom. I'd love the chance to clothe all the peoples of the world. I'm gonna be the I very know. best. Oh, hold on. Go ahead. Objection! I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Of course we want you, Ritter. We're expecting great things from you. Uh, also Bracken, objected. Uh, Bracken, why did you point at him just like that then? And also, he's very into this. Bra Bracken, Bracken has been Sorry. playing. Bracken has been playing Leaf Attorney on on the Broadleaf gaming system, and she's always wanted to do that pose that the character does. The Leaf. Oh yes, my favorite console, the Leaf Box. Yes, the uh, Leaf Box. I get the yes. feeling Bracken's just looking for a new juiced out wardrobe. Also, he's peoples uh, with an S at the end. But uh, but the... soon. Uh, that's but a soon. that's a faint tale. Um, okay, okay, okay. Um, it's supposed to be person yes. for singular and people for plural. Yeah, but yeah, sometimes, but know. sometimes they say peoples in certain but, uh, contexts. I don't know why. No, but, we we do use that. It's eh. it's a dialect thing. It's but, a regional uh, dialect. <laughs> but soon, uh, but soon there will be a brand new competition. The play bracket. Oh no, wait, no, that's a bit dirty. Uh, the bracket station. Ooh. Anyway, Dweebs, uh, recurring to what you said before about Welsh dragons, uh, like I said, in the uh, Fantastic Beasts of Managed to Find an original book, uh, at the section of a dragon, it tells uh, detailedly of an accident of the Welsh species of dragon that terrorized uh, the coast of uh, like a beach uh, that was going on, and uh, the local wizards had to do massive uh, you know, memory spells uh, in order to cover the accident. <laughs> so I'm not <laughs> sure on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think. Uh, Were they terrorizing the English border specifically? <laughs> I think it was called uh, Nova Scotia, but I'm not sure. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. now that I think about it, hold on, let me just... Because I know they showed the Welsh green in the movie. Yeah, yeah, never, yeah. Mi yeah, never mind. I, this she, is she already, really, you're you're so desperate to take stuff from England that you're sending dragons over to wreck our stuff. I guess Wales is just mad that England stole the dragon glory from them in that ever so lovely movie, uh, Reign of Fire. Nah, they're Ugh. just... They're they're just bad our rugby team's better than theirs. What does that have to do with dragons? No, 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 they're so depressed that our rugby team is better than theirs at the minute that they're sending dragons over to try and uh, kill our country's morale. Alright, over that's rugby. That's yeah. Well, little king, I turn it to you. You know how to work people hard. Thanks to outrageous demands, I am now, now more outstanding at my job than ever before. My, my outrageous fucking... demands! My, my, my outrageous demands! <laughs> my back fucking hurts! <laughs> May I remind you, sir, about the side quest I fulfilled for you? Uh, Evan, Evan, he does have a, Evan, he does have a point, though. You, you haven't, you haven't let them take a break in like five straight months. I do let them take a break. Thank you very much. You're, you're to be you. fair, he's an apostle, he's an apostle, Gary, I'm so hungry. I'm not sure. I haven't seen my family in two years! Lofty, you're a kingmaker. You don't possible. have you don't have a family. Years. Lofty, you don't that have wasn't me, That wasn't me talking, but it was one of the bloody employees. Not oh. impossible. We haven't met a kingdom for two years. Alright, this requires yes, two staff members to know creative. creative uh, there's no clear passage of time, Evan. It could be a decade for all I know. <laughs> Excuses. All right. It's like that film, 12 Years a Slave. If it weren't for the title, you wouldn't know it was 12 bloody years. No, oh, aside from that, that movie was good, and why are we comparing my kingdom to that? And she ain't said as the magic touch skill. Yes, which will allow, if I remember correctly, this will allow us to do the final research called Retrial, if I remember correctly. Or, or, or not, actually, level 8, no, the level 8 spells, yes, never mind. I think you still need it neither for the retrial uh, spell. The retri for, for those who don't know, retrial spell allows you to fight the kingmaker's bosses again, and every time you defeat them, they their level rises in ten. So basically, you can just keep challenging yourself on ha consistently harder and harder versions of those boss if battles. If you need where to find them, uh, there are some sanctuaries scattered around the world, at least for the major cities. Uh, just go back to the cradles. The, the cradles were the, the yeah. For yeah. for broadly, for the cradle is on top of the of the tower, so you need to go back there instead. I don't remember where is the one of uh, Hydropolis. I forgot. Uh, the, the the place where we fought it to, the the bottom of the oh, abyss. Also at the bottom. Makes sense. So, yeah. That's where the cradle is as well. So, all right. What else? Uh, stores. A tranquilium nugget. All right. Now let's check the citizen almanac. Ever so much important stuff to do while the horned one is out there. You know what's funny? He's called the Horned One. Every time I hear the Horned One, I keep thinking back to the Horned King. Marlene, almost a sorcerer at the court of Ding Dong Dell, she gave it all up to become a bandit, much to the bafflement of the bandits themselves. She's beautiful and intelligent, uh, but has an air of being less than impressed by the world and its inhabitants. So basically, well, Tio, so basically, yeah. well. <laughs> Well, Tio, you're the rodent fan. Does she check out? Rit Ritter. A tailor who I... toiled for years before finally being allowed to open his own business when Mazinger took over Ding Dong Dale. He's an avid student of new styles and always tries on clothes before attempting to make them, whether they're for men or women. I refrain Thanks to say any personal comment on the current situation at hand. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, we have a similar view on the world, so... <laughs> it's as bad as when Nintendo suggests that Luigi wants to try on the Super Crown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. In the next part, we finish off Chapter 8 side quests. So, see you then. See you, see you later.